person that's on that team is going to keep losing. No access. No, no access to God. <laughs> what you say? He has no phone number at all. That number that you got right there, that number is 979-418. 979-418-5165. This is the phone number I want on this phone. This Uncle Pet, this Craze, and this Adam Troy, and Lalo, Richard Joy, and everybody else for this pick to be on this team. You know what I'm saying? We ain't looking for nothing but this phone right here. This phone and this access. So I can call my son, this Edmund Jesse, Billy D. Williams. Shit. Cedric, the entertainer and Cedric Benson. You know what I'm saying? Benzene, if you want to call it that. I don't mess with no gas. None. You know what I'm saying? That damn show sure ain't going to burn down no Masonic Lodge. Like somebody did, and he didn't burn it up. And he sees the kids. He told the, the kids told him in front of the people that was asking him, in the front of the people that was asking. God want us to go to school, man. You know what I'm saying? The kids had to answer that. You know that night he went over them railroad tracks and came to Mom Diaz with somebody in the car with him, his woman, and he telling her going on around, around. Him. And I don't know what happened that night. I'm just going to leave that night clean because she act like, you know, I showed her what Holy Cross was, showed her where the, that was, that was, that was, where I practiced, where the ball went over the man's glove and came and hit Evan Camp in the face. And Evan quit baseball. That was the uh, matter guard of Sabres. That went from the Kiwana Cubs. So, I don't know. The bad luck he came just because L.C. Moore's son died in one of them houses. And it was right across the street from Miss Betty Stowe. And his son named Ricky Marsh. And, and just think of that name, Ricky Marsh and L.C. Marsh. And it was really Moorish because Adam told me it was Moorish. Later, more wishes, L.C. Because I'll always be working for you and Uncle Peck, Mama Dear, and the whole neighborhood. And everybody that, you know, have me for security, and you call my name. Because Jesus said, keep them through your name. Those that you have given me, so they may be one as we are. He, he ain't say call me Jesus. He ain't say I want them to call you Jesus, Daddy. No, they supposed to be saying this Jesus to you. And in the name of Jesus to whoever they talk to. But this Jesus got to come out of their mouth to you because you need to know your son. And the only way they're going to see it is say this Jesus in the name of a whole bunch of other niggas. I don't know. But she right. You know what I'm saying? I'm right here. And I got to get this boy a ID card on his phone. But phone is on. But the networks don't want to pick him up because they want to steal all his money. That's all the networks are doing. It's still in all the videos, making him erase them. They keep them, put them together, and talk about they did something for God. Well, put them all together just like you just said. But this boy got all the money in his hand, all the land in his hand, all the animals in his land, hand, hand and land, and all the petroleum, all the electricity, everything that's underground mining and overground mining, and everything that fish make. Below to Adam Troy, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't care who you Army veterans is and all that there, you can get your ass on out of here. If you didn't suffer like this man and you did put him through it and knew it, you gone too. And if he don't have his phone on where he can call his daddy today, this Edmund Jesse, you let me know, Adam. Bestow, 
is up the road. Either you gonna walk to it, or they gonna walk. They gonna walk to you, or drive to you, and knock on that door, and tell you a real phone company is right up the street. You can come to it by walking, or you can let us handle this right here in your living room. Which one you wanna do? Or at your doorstep, like they tried to do. Cause this is a real network that's trying to, man, no, it ain't the one that you own. Why would we give it to them? If they already known for messing over you and used to it. Anybody used to messing over the same person don't even need to be around. Him or the kids, at all. That's what I say. Especially when he ain't it's got no phone. It's not going to change the narrative. And he can't call nobody. For you. It's going to be the same thing. But everything going to change for them. That's why I'm telling y'all, like, everything that they thought was solid and stable is really a fucking mess. It's really falling apart. Nothing is, is uh, set in stone. That's why you got to be careful, bro. Mm -mm -mm. That's why you gotta be careful, bro. That's, That's why you got to be careful who you wanna jump on a bandwagon with. I'm telling you, you gotta be careful. Cause you just you you never know. You never know who you going up against. But see, this is my thing. They, some of these, they knew, they knew it. But it's like they, they chose this. That's what you, that's what y'all gotta understand. These people chose this. They chose this. Nobody forced them to do it. That's why I, I told y'all last time. Don't ever feel sorry for a motherfucker, cause ain't nobody uh forced them to do this shit. They did that shit cause they wanted to do it. That's the point that I had to understand. That is the part that I had to understand, y'all. Yeah. I had to understand that they was really like, they thought it was funny to try to block you like that. You know what I'm saying? They thought it was funny to, you know what I'm saying, to be cool with some people that was doing some shit like that to you. And then what kills me is like, in the end, they got the nerve to want to regret it. Like, how could you regret it when you did it over and over and over again? That's not no regret. It just seemed like you just you just feel some type of way because you got caught. That's 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 two different things. Like, no, man, get this motherfucking work, nigga. Get this work, nigga. Yeah, this motherfucking karma. Get this karma. Get this karma, man. That's. That's how, that's how I feel. It's like, man, get this work. Get this karma and stop playing. Stop playing. Go find somebody else your own size to fuck with. Because it's obvious that we're not the match. We, we not they, we not they match. They're not our equal. We on a whole different path. We on a whole different level. We not even about the same thing that they're about. The whole time it's like they, these are people that's only about sabotage. That's it. They not no real hustlers. They not no real go-getters or nothing. They just want to hurt people, sabotage people. You know what I'm saying? They want to set people up. That's the only type of shit that be on their mind. So since that's the only thing that they can think about, now they gotta, it's like they gotta live in that. They gotta live in that shit. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, a lot of people are going through some shit right now for you. Like, God is like making them, he making them like look at you like, damn. How did you have the power? Because you got some people that feel like, how do you have the power to cause me to lose my job? That's how they looking at you. Some of y'all done got people fired from their jobs. And you probably didn't even have to make a report about it. I'm telling you, it's just that when they fuck with you, that's the effect. That is the effect that comes behind messing with you. Because
because it could have been a whole different situation that got them fired. It could have been a whole different person that made that report. It could have been a whole different person that made that call. But because they did it to you, it made it go through. That's why you got to be careful, man. And the same goes for their money. And it's like, you you going to keep, you going to continue to do everything that, you know what I'm saying? Your money is not going to be fucked up. I'm telling y'all, your money won't be messed up, but theirs will. And then they're going to be sitting there looking dumb while you still paying your rent, still paying all your bills, still driving the same car, doing everything that you got to do. That's what comes with it. That's the effect that it have on it on anybody that goes against you. That's the effect. You play with you play with us and you get fucked over. That's the only outcome. There's no other way around this shit. You fuck with a chosen one and you get your issue. And it could happen in any listen, because it's happening in all kind of ways and you not even moving. It's like God got you at a complete standstill right now. You not even making no moves right now. So it's like basically these people are doing this shit to themselves. They are driving themselves out. Driving themselves out. That's, that's so like, that is delusional. That's delusional. That shit is delusional. How you drive yourself out like this? How you drive yourself crazy like that? Thinking that it was going to drive you crazy. See, that's why it pays to just sit in silence. Just sit there and, and don't do nothing. Don't do what they expect you to do. Because the moment that you, you fuck around and do what they expect you to do, that, that's when they feel like they won. See, that's why it's like when God slowed you down and he stopped you, you stopped playing their game. Because see, God already know how you is. <laughs> he already know how you is. You will keep playing with these bitches. <clears throat> but, but it's like God not playing with them. That's what y'all got to understand. Your ancestors is not playing with them. They tired of fucking playing. You see what I'm saying? They, they tired of playing with these people. So it's, it's right now, it's like, I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. And, and, and see, they can't even blame. It's like they, 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 could, they can't even blame you. But they want to blame you so bad for everything. They want to blame you for everything. They want to make you the bad guy because God can flip the script on their dumb ass. Because he, he done turned the whole situation around and he done showed these people that they have no power like they thought they had. You have no power. You bitches is powerless. You bitches have no stability. You're unstable. You have no solid foundation. I'm telling you, these people are running around. They still running around, but now they trying to get their own life in order. They trying to they trying to get their own shit together. But that's what they wanted you to do though. They wanted you to be running around here in shambles, not knowing how you gonna pay your rent, not knowing how you gonna take care of your children. Like they they just wanted you fucked up. Now look at them. Now look at them. Yo. Y'all, what else y'all want me to do on YouTube? Because at this point, I ain't got time no more, y'all. What y'all, what else y'all want me to do? Because at this point, Big Bird, the lost his wings. Big Bird, the lost their wings. I'm telling you. Big birds have lost their wings, y'all. Somebody say they want me to cook. 
Thank you so much, Tanya. I really appreciate you for your super chat. Yes. Yeah, I was thinking about doing some shit like that. And I got a nice big old kitchen too. Big ass kitchen. Big, big kitchen. Yep. But, um, I'm gonna I'm I'm think of some other shit. Because at this point, this shit dead. I think God just be wanting me to, like, God be wanting me to expose shit and go. Like, I don't be having no other work to do. I don't be having nothing else to do. That's why I be like, because, you know, I'm, I'm sitting on here and I'm like, it's done. I prayed and my prayers was answered. And now they getting this motherfucking work. They getting what they what I said they was going to get. Everybody is getting what I said they was going to get. I'm telling you. They have no power over us, y'all. They have no control. They have no control, man. They, it, it's out of control at this point. It's out of control. And it's like God got your life so state. Like your life is, is stable. Your life is so stable, like nothing is being shaken up. Nothing. Everything in their whole world is just like an earthquake, man. This shit crazy. It, it's like an earthquake over them. Yep, we won. That's just that's just what it is. Like we've been one. We been one, man. We been one. I know, right? I'm gonna be coming up with some things, you, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be coming up with some stuff to see, you know, what, what's my next journey. See what God want me to do next, because I think this was like a big, a big turning point. This was a big turning point. You know what I'm saying? This was, this was just for me to expose these people. All this shit happened just so that I could get up here and talk about these bitches like a dirty fucking dog. And that's exactly what the fuck I did. Okay? That's exactly what happened. But anyway, we're going we gonna to figure some shit out because, you know, they done, y'all. They done. They done. And I, I'm at this point, I'm tired of talking about them. I'm tired of talking about them. Yup. <laughs> yup. I'm just reading y'all comments. Yup. Y'all ain't got nothing to worry about. Like if you know if you know your relationship with God is stable and is real, you ain't got nothing to worry about. I'm telling you right now, it's nothing that these people can do no more. Because what you going to do when you ain't got no more money? What you going to do when nobody don't believe you? What you going to do when you have no credibility in the streets? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous when you have no nothing to stand on. Nothing to stand on. Nobody to stand by you. You know what I'm saying? You got nobody that's wanting to even deal with you bitches because y'all... You can't even pay them. You can't even fucking pay these people to, to keep doing what they're doing. It's crazy. It's crazy. Can't even fucking pay these people to, to keep this shit up. All you could do, all, all y'all could do is keep grinding, keep doing what you got, what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? And everything going to be good. But anyway, I'm about to go, y'all. I really ain't got nothing else to say today. Um, just know that God flipped the script on him and now he proving a point and he's showing these bitches exactly what they didn't want to see. Exactly what they did not want to see. This is what they got to sit there and watch. This is what they got to sit there and look at. And it's not pretty for them, baby, but it's beautiful for us. Okay. So that's the message that I have for y'all today. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll get you next time. Bye y'all.
doing that. shake my hand I just scratch my balls with you want to see me scratch my balls oh man it's all kinds of hurricanes plucking fingers and a whole bunch of good tar wraps because that's the gun you're going to choose today is it regular gun or They go down a hundred times on one push-up, one hand. And then what are you gonna say? Go down again. Put that together. Nuts and bolts. It's a flange. You're a man, sugar man. What you do? I'm braiding hair with some dude's head between my legs. You get mad at what you'll do, you smell it what? <laughs> and you just made one little clap in the hand of a what man and then you gotta do that and then you gotta pray that that go down righteous that one too this one coming down children you know you know you ain't trying to do that especially slipping it undone and then slipping it right you ain't come down real fast and ride that music ain't on, and that door can't be open. Cause somebody told me about that, and I said, damn, I know where we at. Next door to that, next door to that, next door to that, next two, two big dudes. And they sit on that thing, you know. And I don't know what you're talking about, cause you sit right there on that bench. It's all cement, all cement, even the bottom part that you walk across on is not a, a, a diving board. It's just a cement seat all the way across. And then the table, cement. He sit up on it and he got his feet down there. You would complain about something, but that ain't no complaint. This, do we see Shirley and Kathy? No. But in this case, you're not going to be in trouble. But Adam would have been if, you know, and Mom did. She don't play straight. Uh-uh. Mom did don't play straight. She got a leaky cut now, and anything she want to drive back to her. Because if it kind of caught, come out new, I get it for her. And they sue me, and the other beds, and all them. Get them cars. Who makes sure that? Adam, not no Mr. Jack, don't know him. Mr. Jack, somebody else's uh, friend. And, you know, family member. And get nice stuff from the nursing home. When people come from the nursing home, they watch him, cook for him and all that. You got to know how to cook, too. And all that, but you ain't, you, you will never see her letting no men in, because it might be, him and one of them, or uh, just them, I don't know. But I don't care, because I don't babysit, and I don't leave children at nobody's house during shift work, you know, doing shift work, talking about they work for me. I wouldn't do that. But now you know what's in there. And then it's a barber shop, too. It could be called a barber shop. And it's right over there. You got a black man running, and it's right across the street. I'm gonna make that turn and go behind the school, make that turn, go on back there, and go where Big wanna go in. See his family in that ditch. That's Big family, you know, they used to use them big cranes and stuff. Then they opened it up and it was like, 
and scared the shit out of everybody. And that's him. Lalo. Lawrence Callis. Callis on your hand. Cal I tried to show him on one day. That's one hand callus. 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 But you know. You miss Lalo, man. Well, if you don't miss it. How would we be here if you didn't miss him? You know what I'm saying? And when I say miss him, about time. And he said, well, it was right for face to face. Probably got a little, got small. But we stuck this one together and glued him. Instead of that other number, I'm going to change it. All right, this is three, three. No. Three, three. 
March 3rd. It is March 3rd. March 7th payday for a Wednesday paycheck. But this ain't got no phone, ain't got no contact. It ain't got no contact. That's contacts, like contacts if you did have a headache or something. But this don't have no contact. Contact wasn't even thought about the Contacts fix this whole problem. Contacts, that's for eyes though. But it's a headache for eyes. If you have a, what they call them, bad ones that they say, they have, I ain't never had it like Jerry say she have sometimes. Uh, a migraine. A migraine, that's a migraine. That's a migraine. That's a migraine to uh, join them. But that's just a migraine. And the Tylenol, you know, not Tylenol, but that contact can fix it. And a Tylenol, too. And uh, they can do the same thing for. You know, when you got a toothache, if they ain't got no toothache medicine these days, or very rare, then you in the same place. And they fought like that when they in this kind of play. Oh man, God, dog, I would not be hurt fighting like that. But they big and worse than that on the highway. When you getting gas, oh, when you smell gas, when he getting gas and everything, everybody know he getting gas and going on to leave himself. <laughs> this fart, long, big fart. Could be in somebody's kitchen or something, but you outside. And everybody heard it right there. And everybody know you got a problem, you know, with God. You know what I'm saying? So, and they know you're going to be all right. So wherever they are, they might help you out if you're doing tire or something. Tyree might help you out. But, uh, you know, don't marry too many people quick, man. They want to get married and stuff. And don't mess with nobody's banking system. Shoot, that's what Garland told me. That's my Garland. Now, y'all got a Garland, too. My Garland is Garland Cabot. You know what I'm saying? Y'all Garland is uh, Garland Johnson. He cool, man. That's Doom Big Brother too, man. That's my boy too. But I think y'all mama, that one, because she faithful. Man. I think, you know, I mean, I ain't saying she faithful, I guess. I'm just saying, I ain't never seen her with nobody. But, you know, I seen who he was, you know, at that Tyree Church. You know, get the Tyree out there and then down that alley and that one way and then you turn in that right right there. I don't even see no parking lot. But I prayed at that sidewalk out there to the animals because they walked up. You know, like you say, animals was mad at because they were starting to, you know, Feeling bed bug. Ah, nah, they didn't know what it meant. They were starting to wake up because we were getting ready to have uh, um, a real, uh, what they call it, Adam, a marriage counseling year. We was going to really have a marriage counseling. And, um, you know, that's when we got a call and had to, you know, go. See about the family. Cause we had got a letter saying we really didn't want to come home, but he didn't go on and finish it and say, you know, cause this is Robert's high school sweetheart. <laughs> Robert Blackman, his cousin. He didn't want to do that to Robert. He didn't want to be the one to come to the family reunion. And everybody know that Angie was his. Then he seen Angie. And he had a baby, and he thought it was boys, and then he said no, and he let her hear the music and stuff, and he figured out real quick, she said it was Leonard. He said, God dog, boy, God dog, you, Phew, Leonard. And that's how he know that everybody really family. You know what I mean? Let them hear the music. She 
talk to a couple of them big girls and say, yeah, that might be. And uh, Sherry, I ain't messing with him about your CD. So that was way back then. We done came 30 years. Now we back. You know, Anthony was mad at it. He ain't mad no more. And Anthony Lewis, damn sure wasn't mad. And Anthony Lewis, the one told him, he need to do one of them insurance scams. You know what I'm saying? Shit, and that's my boy, Lord. And you can say Lou, Lord. Lou, Lou, Lou Ella, William, and Lou Ella. Hanks, you know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? Don't even get, get Billy D started. Don't even let temples raise up their own pits. <laughs> Ooh, I can't even breathe. I'm just laughing, but ain't nothing wrong with the Al right here. Louis, this motherfucker screwed over. You're going to have to let me learn how to drive this mag lack. That's all this nigga is. is it's pumping mag through his system. While he walked and talking, they wish they could have it. So they got all and showed them everything. And the AV gas, the aviation gas, over here I'm making. You put it right in there, you ain't got to do you no jug. Just pump it in ready. You ain't got to siphon it out. Oh no, you ain't got to do all that. Mm-mm. That is that. God damn, man, it's a long way to do what? This chill. I ain't gonna keep that down though, no, up though. I'm gonna let it down. I don't know who next though. Copycat. Copycat. Ooh. No heater though. We don't need it. All right, I need dog food and a truck. That's all. And a phone that's got my phone number on it.